Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let me discuss about the process and efficient SVD based method for image denoising. Let us see the abstract of the process and efficient SVD based method for image denoising. Image denoising has always been an important part of signal processing, especially in the digitized world of modern society. Local filters are one of the other uh, methods for denoising, which is used used only information from the neighboring pixels with the idea that the locality means sim similarity. The real world scenes has very wide range of luminance levels, but in the field of photography, the ordinary cameras were not able to capture the true dynamic range of the natural scene. The process of denoising is employed in the images based on the type of noise added to the images. The process of uh, denoising images is more helpful in all the image processing applications and in cameras. The images consist of some unwanted pixels designed as noise. Noise in the images were removed based on low rank approximation SVD process, LRA SVD process. Which identifies the noises in the images based on the recent information for the effective removal of noise in the images. The overall performance of the process is measured based on the performance matrices. Uh, noises were added to the input images. Then LSV SVD process is employed for the noisy images in order to remove from the input images the noisy image patches in the images. The denoised patches were uh, combined based on the patch grouping process. In the patch grouping process, patches image clustering algorithm is employed in the identified patch group low rank approximation is employed for effective optimization of the noise pixels in the patches. Finally, the patches were aggregated and the resulting image were back propagated resulting in the denoised images. The performance of the process is measured with the help of performance matrices like this and not FSM. The performance of the process indicates that the proposed approach is more efficient com compared to the existing approaches for denoising of images. Let us see the flow of the process. The input image is obtained from the data set. First, we add additive white Gaussian noise to the input images. Additive white Gaussian noise is added uniformly to all the pixels of the input images. Gaussian distribution function is employed for the generation of the unwanted pixel information to the images. The generated Gaussian distribution values were added uniformly over the complete images. The noise image is represented using the formula y is equal to x plus e, where s x is the input image and e is the added noise. After that, we employ SVD denoising process. SVD is a generalization of the k-means clustering model and it works iteratively altering the space sparse coding or the input data based on the current dictionary and updating the atoms in the dictionary to better fit the data. In initial dictionary is created based on the original and the noised patches of the input images. It aims to partition in observations into few clusters in which each observation belongs to cluster with the nearest mean serving as a prototype for the clustering process. The clustering method is based on the identification of the difference between the input data and based on the difference the clusters were assigned. By comparing the dictionary patches and the original patches, noises in the images were estimated. The estimated noises from the images were received, removed resulting in the denoised images. After the SVD denoising process, patch grouping process is done. The calculated dictionary based on the SVD process is optimized resulting in the patch grouping process. The optimization process is employed based on low rank optimization pro approximation process. The low rank approximation process minimizes the all over errors in the obtained denoised images. In the low rank process, the approximation value is calculated based on the probability calculation of the patches. Based on the calculated probability, the patches were grouped resulting in the optimized image. The optimized image is then further used for the process. After the patch grouping process, back propagation process is employed. In the back propagation process, the noises in the images occurring due to the pixel grouping based on the low rank approximation were 
removed. The back propagation process is the process of repeating the SPD process again for the resulting image. The resulting image is considered as noisy image and the denoising process is applied to the image. The noise level is a given constant and based on the new constant, the denoising process is employed. Finally, the performance of the process is measured based on the performance matrices like FSIM and uh, PSNR. The calculated performance matrix indicates that the proposed method is more efficient compared to the other existing approaches. Let us see the running procedure of the process. If you want to run the code, select the file main.m which is present in the source code folder. Right click it and click on run file. You will get the process started. First select any one of the input images from the data set or you can give any other images outside so first we select any one of the images from the data set so the process executes this is the input image that we have selected this is the image with added uh, gaussian noise this is the initial dictionary created for the input images this is the SPD dictionary applied for the input image. These dictionary patches were rearranged in order to obtain the noiseless pixels in the input image. So this is the result of the patch grouping process. As the result of patch grouping process, we identify the noisy pixels in the image. These are all the optimized pixels obtained from the patch group regions. So these are all the final noise locations in the images and they were eliminated. Finally, this is the denoised image. So, this is the input noisy image and this is the final denoised image. The performance of the process is measured in terms of the PSNR and the FSIM value. So, this is the PSNR value of the input and the noisy image. The, these two images, PSNR between these two images and we can see it is very low and after that the PSNR value between the input and the DSNR denoised image. So as we can see, the PSNR value has been improved effectively. Thus, the proposed approach is produces the denoised images which is more similar to the input images and hence the performance of the processes were much improved and also we have measured FSIM value. The FSIM value is displayed in the table the FSM value must be between minus 1 and 1 uh, so this is near to plus 1 hence the input image is similar to the uh, resulting denoised images thus we have effectively denoised the input images based on SVD process thank you